what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Runa. Sorry I missed a lot of videos last week. It's the holidays. The summer is when shit starts to slow down a little bit. And your girl just wants to chill a little bit. We all are like that. Family becomes extensively needy during December. So I wanted to do a quick holiday look for you guys. This is an extreme glam holiday look. This is not your simple holiday look. I felt like doing something extreme. Everyone's going to be doing something simple and like nudie. So I wanted to do something a little bit more extreme for you guys. So if you want to see how I got this look, don't forget to turn on the notifications, like this video, and keep on watching. And also, I broke my nails, so if that really irritates you, that triggered you, don't look at my hands. Let's go. Last minute, I decided <laughs> to actually film this as a talk-through tutorial with you guys. It's my holiday look. I'm going to use the Morphe 35M palette. This is the Boss palette, and as you guys can see, it has all these beautiful freaking colors in there. So all those greens, I'm going to use all of those today just to make this look divine. I think I'm going to do a cut crease. As you can see, I've already went in with a army green color with my 217 brush, and I've smoked it in to my crease right there. And I love how smoked that looks very nice I love using the Mac 217 brush because it smokes everything out perfectly fine but and get some color packed onto there and I already have a concealer on my eyes I don't know what happened to my eyeshadow primers I can't find any of them so I'm using concealer lately I want to go ahead and try the P Louise eyeshadow primer that everybody keeps talking about so I need to like actually purchase that so I'm gonna go ahead and take the color and start over here this is where my crease is at. I have a little bit of hooded eyes, so I love, love to take the shadow a little bit higher. So this is where my actual crease is at, which is hidden. So I like to look for the actual crease, which is in there, right there. And I like to just apply color. I love to build up the color little by little, and then most people will go like this right away. I feel like that creates uneven application. So what I love to do is I love to start over here on the edge, build this color up, and while I'm building up this color, once you see that it's a little built up like that, I come in with a stippling brush or a blending brush and I just blend out. So it's like apply, blend, apply, until you get it to the intensity that you like. I really like super intense eyeshadow, so I keep building until the intensity is where I want it to be. And then just to create this to go more into my crease, I now go into the center and I start blending it, creating the shape. Now if I would have just gone in with this color and just gone like this, you would have seen tons of streaks and that's where it starts to look unblended and uneven. And then so once that happens, then you're going to go ahead and take this brush, which is a blending brush. You could use any brush that's blendy. I just decided to go ahead and pick this one up because this is actually what's clean. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that. And then once I blend that, it's a little, it's getting blended. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply more color. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it over here into a circular motion. Once you're working piece by piece, you'll get this perfect blend like that. 18 brush from Morphe and as you can see I have this fresh green on there I'm gonna tap off the excess and then what I'm gonna do is just kind of insert this fresh green in right here on the edges I'm gonna use it to basically blend out any edges that I have just to add a little bit more color so I'm just gonna use it just to make this a little bit more grinchy kind of have a grinchy vibe I love The Grinch. Watching The Grinch is one of my most favorite, favorite movies. It's my most favorite holiday movie. And I love it. I love the colors. I love the green. I love so much. Over on Instagram, I'm doing a 12 days of Christmas look. I really want to do like a Grinchy look. I don't know if this will be my Grinchy look or I'll do something a little bit more extreme. I have no idea. And I'm going to wet this brush right there. And then I'm going to go in with a gold metallic color. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. 
Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love It is winter So now on the end, I need to like kind of reinforce this So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of that color And I'm just going to mix it in so as you guys can see, it's nicely blended. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go on to my face. Just before I go into my face, I wanna talk to you guys what I've used to prep my face. I used the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Cream today. Face cream, this has hyaluronic acid in it and peptide complex. I have no idea what peptide complex um, is, but I know it's good for your face. So I put it on my face. <laughs> but no, really, this is really good for your face, especially if you have dry skin. It's a super affordable option. I have dry skin. And I've been loving putting this on every morning before I do my makeup. It's amazing. It's bombacious. It's bombacious. And then I'm going to go in with the Farsali Care Unicorn Essence. And no, this is the Farsali Care Skin Tune Blur. I'm going to use this on my nose area and my, you know, my T-zone area. Because this minimizes the pores and makes everything look really, really nice. And you look snatched delish Snatched. So that's why I like that stuff. And now I'm going to go in to color correcting. So we're going to go into color correcting. We're going to go ahead and use my peach. And we're going to also use the red. So the red is to cover up all of this darkness. If you see, I have a little bit of darkness right here. And I have a little darkness right here. And then I have some sunspots everywhere over the years. Sun damage happens. And then I'm going to use the peach to brighten up my under eyes. I like a super, super bright under eye. So I like to cancel out any type of coloration that's underneath my eyes. That's what the peach does. And as you can see, it's just like an applicator. It's a pump applicator. A little really goes a long way. You don't need to put a lot, just a little. And just a little bit I know this looks a lot but it's a really thin layer of a lot everywhere so my favorite thing to do is use a beauty blender to blend this out because I feel like the beauty blender will take up any excess product and I'll leave what needs to be there to correct enough to correct but not so much that it turns your um, foundation red today's foundation I'm using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's actually really good. This is in the shade, I know you guys are gonna ask me. This is in the shade Honey Bronze 4W1. It's actually a good shade. I just love this foundation because it like really snatches your face up. It snatches up your face and it snatches up your pores. Makes your skin look so flawless. I love this. I do like to put this foundation on with a beauty blender because the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is super thick. So you don't want to put it on with a brush. I feel like the beauty blender it tends to go on a lot better. So the next, so now that's my foundation base, you guys. Look at how flawless that foundation base is. It looks so nice. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer. I love this killer concealer. I've been really hooked on it. I think what I love the most about it, I got it in the shade 310, is how beautiful it glides on. It glides on so pretty. And I feel like it doesn't tag. I don't know. It feels good to put it on. It's been really nice just to apply. And I just love how it looks. It's bright, but not too bright. It's perfect. So freaking nice. Or is it just your eyes that have lit something in me? See you coming closer from across the room. like nobody's business I'm gonna go ahead and use my Laura Mercier powder which I love and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab powder so I bake because of being on camera and I'm always on camera because you know that's what I do and I like how it looks when I bake it just looks good you know so just, just bake it up not everything just looks like this and it just makes 
your makeup also lasts a very long time. Now, if you're someone who has a lot of like, you know, you have, you know, you have fine lines and you just don't want to like emphasize the fine lines, you just put on just enough and then you start wiping it off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and to the Laura Mercier. There's a deep version of it and I'm going to bronze my skin. And I love bronzing my skin while everything is setting because then I could just kind of blend these lines out. I love to bronze my skin with this Laura Mercier deep translucent powder because it just looks it just looks so smooth and pretty. I love it. My fave. And it gives you a very pretty glow. This is probably the holy grail. You will always see me do this routine. This is my constant routine. I'm constant doing, constantly doing this. Maybe sometimes you'll catch me change it up because I like to try new things and I don't want to be bored of what I'm doing. Because, you know, you don't want to get bored of always using the same stuff. But most majority of the time, I will come back here. Unless I find something that I'm kind of addicted to and then I'll just leave this method and I'll go to that. I mean, sometimes I get really into Studio Fix, but it's a little, little too dry for Studio Fix right now. So Laura Mercier is good enough. So then I'm gonna go in with a stippling brush like this, and then I just go ahead and blend everything out. And then I like to take a little sponge this is clean nothing on it and I like to press my whole skin with it what that's gonna do is it's going to melt and decrease that powdery cakey look that you guys all want to avoid when you use too much baking see just snatches you up Obviously, this is not like an everyday thing. Sometimes, most of the time, I will basically do a face like this, but my eyeshadow will be a little bit simpler. This is just for, yeah, this is like to go somewhere, to glam it up. I think the transformation is just such a fun thing to watch. A quick trick is, you know how the bronze is a little too far? I like to blend that area. Don't go all the way up in blending it. Just blend it mostly in these corners. I don't like my bronzer too too low so I'll just blend it. on my under eyes I'm just gonna go in with the two matte green colors from up here and match it with down there <laughs> hey guys so I went in with some blush this is a dolly mix by Mac cosmetics okay guys I love dolly mix it's like a rosy plummy vibe Super, super pretty, and I feel like it looks perfect with this mix. Um, so that's why I did that. So I did that because it looks perfect. I didn't want to wear too pinky. I didn't want to wear too ready. So I wanted to have a colorful blush. So I want a very champagne gold color highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. and Nabella Noir highlighter. I love this highlighter. It's super shiny, super holiday -y. And I feel like since I'm doing a holiday look, I need something boom in your face. Um, this is an extreme glam, of course. Ooh, look at that. Wow. So pretty. Right? Now I'm going to go in with some lashes. I'm going to go ahead and use some Lady Burgundy lashes. These are in the shade Hanya. <laughs> This look I definitely think I want to do a nude look so I'm just gonna go in with this mented dope lip pencil and then the Nabella Noir elf um, cosmetics collab and my renewed I love this combo it's such a good combo so I thought mm, I should do this guys I love this lip liner it's so good everything's linked down below for you guys this is like my favorite lip liner it's literally just glides on glides on so pretty and it's so blendable. This is 
the finish look. That's it. I'm finished. I'm done. I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya. Bye. To share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall in love in this winter.